you're watching an episode of Shiftcast. You can catch the full episode on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Let's get right into it. Well, mm -hmm. that is very different from what we're looking at for Shift Summer League. You have run through a very difficult qualifier. We'll talk about who all you had to beat to get in here. But now that mm -hmm. you're in, you're in mm -hmm. for this full month. So what, um, you know, what is your take? There's been, we have had countless discussions about league play, open circuit format, hybrid, whatever. What is your feelings on that discussion? And what do you think might be the best path forward for Rocket League at the moment? I think I think league play coming back, even if it's not for RLCS for something like this, is a good thing. Um, people have been talking about it for a while. I never got the chance to compete in it because I didn't really start my career until the open circuit, pretty much. So this is my first time really competing in a big league play. And I'm not, not only am I competing in a big league play, league play, I'm competing with the best in NA, right? Every single major NA team is in this um, is in this event. So I'm super grateful to to even be here. Let me get that out of the way. Um, I think this will finally be a good chance to see, you know, what a uh, sort of league play would look like in the RLCS. Yeah. I think even if uh, people don't agree that fun and incorrect are top 10 teams, I think for sure we have the top eight in North America. Um, and I think we're going to really see some high level Rocket League coming up. Um, I'm just a little bit curious on what the public's going to think about it, just because it's been so long since we've had a sort of league, uh, league style format. I'm just very happy that we have high level teams in this. And you're playing them not just once, but twice. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That is the Before one thing that the playoffs even. off. Because yeah. I'm not like, like I'm so used to like, you know, like watching back in the day, you know, you know, I was watching RCS as you would. Um, everyone plays each other once. You know, if you lose the best of five against the team, maybe you should have beat, you get a second chance now, which I think is kind of cool. Um, and I think most importantly for someone like me, it gives me a lot more chances and a lot more reps, which is, you know, exactly what I'm looking for here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is a lot to fit into three weeks of league play. Because we have 15 matches a day uh, mm -hmm. per region, so 30. It's it's insane, but uh, it, it gives all the teams a lot of yeah, a lot of practice, a lot of mm -hmm. experience just against all the teams. Because mm -hmm. that's the thing with the open era format is that you're going to have teams that should like be on kind of the same level, kind of meet each other sometimes, completely ignore each other. Because yeah, they're on the other yeah. sides of the bracket and they're they're playing through Swiss in in the same kind of way, and they're just never actually meeting. Maybe you see them like twice a season go up against each other. And now we're seeing every team go up against the other twice in three weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One other question on that note: with the past three years or or however long of RLCS with Open Era, you just can't really prep. You don't know what's coming. Mm -hmm. Now, Flitz, you're going to know who you play on Tuesday. You're going to know who you play on Wednesday. You're going to know what's happening. Does that change how you prepare as an individual or as a team versus what we've had in the past few years for RLCS? Oh, for sure. I mean, I think, like, that's the thing about a regional is, you know, at least before we had those eight invited teams. Um, but, I mean, heading into this, talking about this last season specifically, I mean, we saw yeah. teams like Shopify, K Court miss out. Um, so you didn't really know what you were going to get. Like, yeah, you could kind of plan it out. It's like, yeah, obviously G2 is going to make it. Genji is going to make it. But even still, we never really knew it was going to happen. Um, for this, obviously, we knew every team that was in it by the time uh, the qualifiers were done. Um, and now we have the, we have, you know, we have the schedule. Uh, we know who we're playing. We play uh, OG first, a team that I'm mildly familiar with. I played them a few times during the RLCS season. Uh, so now I got to now I got to move ahead moving forward. I know I have OG into SSG into Shopify. I kind of like I have everything's li everything's lined out, you know. I know what to expect, which is a good thing. So, uh it definitely does change how you prepare for it, especially if you're one of those teams that kind of like preps and like there's a uh, there's like heavy replay and like oh, they play like this, so we got to play, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. but it definitely does change it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we see, you know, post game interviews, etc., where players it's it's almost 100% of the time we say we don't prepare for that team. We play our game. We play yeah. our way. If we do what we do, we'll win. Um, and I think there is definitely some truth to that with Rocket League, but I also yeah. think that it's kind of like a, what other choice do they have, right? Like you yeah. don't even know who you're going to run into. So mm -hmm. you can't really focus on prepping for what's to come because you don't know who it is. So yeah. I'm excited to see because I think this will, you know, I'm, I don't think that this is going to change results and flip it on its head by any means, but I think that this definitely will benefit the teams that are willing to put in that prep work um, lay down some groundwork before they get into the series that will you know, be willing to, like you said, do a lot of replay analysis, see what the tendencies are of individual players, of the, the team, and what the unit likes to try to accomplish when they get onto offense, when they get into defense, mm -hmm. however they may behave in, in those scenarios. So 
I'm excited yeah. to see it. And then you mentioned too, like, how is the community going to receive it? You know, I think mm. one of the things that we don't really talk about a whole lot because we focus a lot on the competitive side of it. But man, like, imagine RLCS, but we know that this Saturday's matches are going to feature G2 versus Gen.G. We know that this Saturday's matches are going to feature Space Station versus Rebellion. And we know that those teams winning is going to get them ahead in the race for the major or, or whatever it might be, right? You can build a week's worth of content I'm sitting here thinking as a streamer now. You can build a week's worth, a week's worth of content because you know what's about to happen. You know, we, you know, with these tournaments and and um, you know all happening on the weekend, you don't know who's going to match up. You don't know who's who's going to run into who. And so, you know, I think that is going to be a really interesting thing from a, a fan perspective. Like, you know, my favorite team is going to play this team and then this team. And so, I think it's just going to be really exciting. Like you mentioned at the very beginning, it, it will kind of bring us back to the glory days of RLCS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think for all the fans, it's going to be a very different experience. Yep. Of course, we have so many matches now that we aren't able to stream all of them on the yeah. Twitch channel if you're watching this live. Um, but I can give you a little leak Ooh. and tell you that Fitz, you are going to be featured this week on the stream Ooh. already. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, there we go. Okay, I don't even, even know that. <laughs> so no, nobody knows I'm, that. That's, 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 that's a proper cool. leak. That's cool. I like that. I like That's that. That's a proper league. But uh, yeah, so there are going to be a lot of team streams as well. So you can follow along with any of the teams anyway. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a completely different way of watching Rocket League if you're going to be knowing the matchups yeah. beforehand. Yeah, definitely. Now, we're talking about Shift Summer League. And we're going to get into some questions here. We're going to uh, you know look forward and make some predictions if we will. But first, Flitz, you qualified with a different squad than what you were playing with in the final regional. Toasty was absent for whatever reason. You guys yeah. had one to Mike slept, um, slide in, and you guys popped off. I mean, this is, you know, I talked about, to your note, you said the community may say fun and incorrect are not on the same level, right? They may say mm -hmm. those things. But I, I took this approach. I looked at you guys run, all right? You lost a snowman in round one, and when you lose in round one, you know it's just going to be tough. You yeah. guys beat X Cloud 9 America Canada, who finished the season, I think, making two of the final three regionals. Mm -hmm. Then you beat NRG, and then you beat Peeps. There is mm -hmm. no way that anyone can say you guys don't deserve it. You ran mm -hmm. through, you know, two or three of the expected teams to qualify. Mm -hmm. That's a proper run. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, quals were were very interesting. First off, I want to say is uh, Toasty was on vacation with okay. his brother Moses. Uh, they, they, went to, they went to Canada, so so uh, you know. Like, well, I, was like, I, I was like, to, <laughs> so I was like, expert bro, our teammates in Canada, we got to do something, and we're like, let's just get one to Mike. He's doing well in six mans. Let's pick him up. Um, I didn't really know what I expected heading into this qualifier. I'll be I'll be straight with you. I, I honestly weren't sure if we were gonna make it or not. I was like out there. I was like, this isn't my team. Wanda's good. Expert's my dog. I think it's three really good players. I don't see yeah. why we couldn't make it, but to, I'm not gonna sit here and say like, oh, I knew it was gonna happen. I didn't, right? Uh, well, you get reverse swept by Snowman, which was really painful. That was mm. a really, really painful loss. And it took me a few games to lock in um, against Cloud9. For the first, like, one or two, I was still kind of, like, out of it. Um, but once we clicked and got that win in Game 5 against that X Cloud 9 roster, I'm pretty sure every series from there was a 3-0 or a 3-1. We kind of just, like, moved through. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, just once that happened, we just got that momentum. We got past Netherland uh, America. I hit, like, the nicest redirect that I've ever hit in any oh, tournament. Okay. I, hit, I hit this, like skim in like a five minute ot to like go top right and i was like yeah yeah that was, was kind of nice that was a beauty I, I i'm not gonna lie i probably won't do that again but it was a nice shot so that, i, I wish you could pull it up right now but it is featured <laughs> on on the on the twitter of course hey, but... maybe i'll maybe i'll hit it when i'm on the shift stream tomorrow Ooh, yeah let's see that. <laughs> but yeah and then nrg was we lost to them in the regional um mm -hmm. that was actually who sent us out of the season um, and, and I felt bad because Toasty, that was the team that kicked them, right? Right, right. So we really wanted to beat them in the regional. We weren't able to. But we were able to get the revenge here. But it was a different roster, right? They didn't have Mist. And then we beat Mist the next round. So we got we got the full circle. <laughs> we got the revenge for Toasty. We made it into the league. And it, it was it was a really good feeling. It's it's just like, you know, you, you work so hard mm -hmm. to make these regionals. And, you know, sometimes it, like, even, even, even when you make the regionals, it feels great. And then sometimes you'll, like, not do as well. Sure. Um, and you'll you'll be done in a week, right? Uh, not even a week. You'll be done in a weekend. Um, but we we worked hard. We made this we made this league, and at the very least, we have three weeks of high level competitive Rocket League ahead of us. And I think that's really reassuring. Even if we do really bad on this first day, maybe even do bad on the second day, 
We'll still have 12 games, yeah. plenty of scrims, That's right. plenty of matches, and I'm really excited uh, heading forward. It's awesome to hear. And I think, you know, Yins will probably uh, confirm this, but I think that is what they wanted to provide. They wanted to yeah. provide a space for a community to enjoy um, some, some high-level Rocket League, but also for the players to stay sharp for Worlds, mm -hmm. for some, uh, you know, maybe teams that are already looking at tryouts and, and, and looking at other things, so... Um, well, yeah, there, there is this gap, right, yeah, between yeah. After, after the second major. And, I mean, the second major already is part of that gap for players who didn't make it there. And then all the way through the season, like, there's still the World Championships somewhere yep. later this summer, I guess. You know, it, it, it feels so long that it, it's great to be able to fill up some of that space. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, we uh, got this from you earlier, but... Wanda Mike was a stand-in, so Toasty's mm -hmm. going to be back. But now you've got another player gone for week one. So you kind of are effectively running a four-man roster. Yeah, the conclusion it's, is. It's, it's insane. So <laughs> Toasty was on vacation for qualifiers. Expert yep. is on vacation for week one. Um, <laughs> so week one will be... I mean, it is the Mike. summer, so... Yeah, I no, I mean, I get it. And it's, it's, it's a little awkward. We're doing our best. I will say... Um, for being the listed sub on the roster, I think Toasty is the best sub we could have had. Um, <laughs> like, he, you know, obviously we all have experience playing with him, me and Expert. Um, I think he's really easy to play around, so I think Wanda's not going to have any trouble there. Yeah. It's going to be really weird, though, because it, it, it really does feel like a four-man roster. It's just like yeah. so many different variations that we're going to be playing with with, uh, with these groups of players. But for our situation, I'm still very confident. Oh, yeah. um, I, I honestly think even if I'm not in that mix of this four, like I think any three of us are, are a very high-level team. And I think obviously me, expert, and Toasty have showed it. Me, Wanda, and expert have showed it now. Um, so hopefully, me, Wanda, and Toasty can show it uh, Monday or Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. It. All right. Well, let's do this. Um, we're gonna jump into Shift Summer League preview. We've got a few questions, and then we're gonna let Flitz get up out of here. Uh, so first off, and each of us will give you our answer. Yen's I and, and Flitz will all answer these. Mm -hmm. First question we've got: Which team from the play-in surprised you the most? Not the Excuse me, not the invited teams, of course. We haven't seen him play just yet, but from the play-in, who surprised you the most? Obviously, in a positive way. <laughs> we don't want to... In a good way. Call out, call out anything good. bombing yeah. out. Uh, by the way, this can be NA or EU, right? Uh, am, am I, this am, entire... Who's going first? Who's going first? Am I going first? You go first. You go first. All right, can I say us? Am I Absolutely. allowed to say incorrect? Because I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. Like I, I kind of said this like when I first got on here. I wasn't sure if we were going to make it. I'm going to be honest. I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't think that many people had us going into this. Um, yeah. We made a really good run. I'd say we beat four teams people didn't expect us to beat, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like, tr truthfully. And even, even still, we were right there with Snowman, too. I, I think yeah. that would have been a great way to start us off with an upset. But uh, I don't know. After we lost, I mean, people already had us counted out. After we lost to Snowman, I almost had us counted out for like a game or two. I was I was just not having it. Yeah. But, you know, my team helped me pick me up. Uh, we all got the groove, and then all three of us started playing very well. And, uh, I mean, I know we surprised people, and I kind of surprised myself. So I'm, I'm glad to say <laughs> incorrect. You know, I feel you. I feel you. I'm right there with you. I also picked you guys. Mm -hmm. Because no offense, right? No, no offense. It's, it's but you did, it, you did it with Wonder Mike. Yeah. No offense to Wonder Mike, but you did it with Wonder Mike. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, people, that's something I wasn't expecting. He, he, people haven't seen him in a minute, but Wanda's still that's really right, good. That's right. I can, I can personally vouch. That was not a fluke or nothing. Uh, Wanda's, okay. that's Wanda's, good still, Wanda's still a high-level high level RL player, and we're going to That's great to hear. I mean it, it, I mean, it only strengthens my confidence in your yeah. team as a whole, right? That yeah. you can do it with a four-man roster, basically, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. uh, of course, the, it's going to be a tough competition. Um, I feel like a lot of people are looking at NA as this like way better competition right now because all of the world's teams are, are playing as well. Uh, but that does mean that you're going to see some matchups that are maybe a little bit uneven. Mm. Whereas in EU, people are bashing it for the world's teams not being in there. Respectfully, like, yeah, fair enough. Mm. But it does mean that you're going to have a lot more kind of equal matchups. That might not be the case with every north american matchup so it, it's gonna be a tough run I'm, I'm sure for you guys you know yep. you've made it through playoffs congrats Thank you. and now you're gonna come up against those invited teams it's gonna be gonna be tough but yeah you really surprised me in such a positive way my selection for the surprise was team fun which is talk nitrous and t Carell. and you know i think a, a piece of that is uh, t Carell has been playing for a while uh nitrous has been playing for a while they've had some ups and downs um, Talk is a newer player that I think is having a lot of success recently. But the reason that I was so surprised is they just ran straight through. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, they beat J Pal, Oath, and Adam, and then they turn around and beat Peeps to qualify. They went through in the upper side. So that's uh, crazy. You know, a very impressive run there. Talk has also just recently teamed up with J Naps in a Canadian event, and it, um, I think it's a three v three event. I'm not 100 yeah, percent sure, sure, but mm -hmm. they won that as well. And so he's been he's been rocking and rolling. I'm excited to see him play in that three v three environment against that highest level of competition that we keep uh, keep referring to. So we got fun and incorrect across the board here for us, um, which I think would probably be the most common choices. Yeah. Those two teams definitely popped off. Let's jump to our next one. Which team from the play-in do you think has the best chance of making a deep run in the tournament, making playoffs, making some waves? Uh, um, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll tell you yeah, what. I'll go sorry. first this time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to jump over to EU. Uh, my selection is actually Espartaco, and I actually did not. I didn't. I didn't predict them to make it in. I thought. Uh, I thought some other teams would, but I, I think they had a pretty good play-in run. They lost to Swadad. I may not be saying that right, but Swadad beat everybody 3-0. Nice. They just yeah. just destroyed. So I think, you know, when you have those days, it's obviously a confidence building day. But sometimes, and I'm sure we've all done it, no matter what rank you are, you just have those pop off days where where nothing goes wrong. You win everything. Every bounce goes your way. But as Spartaco, after their loss, uh, they fell down and they beat Belly Goal and they beat Fast Forward. And both of those teams were regularly uh, nine through eleven or twelve through fourteen in in nearly every regional. And so that is a good quality, consistent um, opponent there. So I like those two wins. I think it's Spartaco with Stizzy playing on that roster, dying, and Dorito. I think that's going to be a good shout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Spartaco is also an interesting team because it's fully Spanish. Mm -hmm. You have so many Spanish players in the European League. It's crazy. Like 10 out of the 30 players are Spanish. One wow. third is... It's basically oh, wow. the Spanish League at this point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have a couple of teams that have two Spaniards and one German on them. That seems to be a very popular combination. But Aspartico is the only completely Spanish roster. Um, but I had 100% because they also had to beat fast forwards to qualify, yeah. I think, in the upper bracket, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah. I I wasn't sure if they were go going to be there. And, and they absolutely did. And they have uh, Chris P, who is going to move over to NA mm -hmm. soon. After this, he's already kind of left his roster. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of his last hurrah in Europe for, for a while. Tour. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, yeah, farewell tour. So I'm, I'm really curious to see what they can do with that. But uh, yeah. Flitz, what are you thinking? I'm going back to NA for this one. Yeah. And I think this Dignitas roster with Zanil mm. has a lot of potential, man. Okay. I think Evo is one of the best players in NA. I think he's top 10. I think he's super mechanical. He's super flashy. And I think Zanil was, I think him getting removed off Cloud9 was a shock to everyone. I think he was yeah. their best player. And I think him being the second option on this dig team with Arsenal being an incredible third option, just like that whole roster to me, it fits, right? Yeah. They go through quals. I feel like they do a pretty good job in quals. And I think overall, both all three of those players have just been impressing me around the board of my ranked games and my six mans. And now that they're all together, I'm very curious to see how far Dig can go because I think they can do some damage. I love it. Uh, which matchup are you most excited to watch for the league play stage? Jens, why don't you kick us off this time? I have two teams you might not expect as my favorite matchup. That is Grid Serve Resolve versus mm -hmm. Fake German Amigos. You know why? Why? Because it's Ivan versus Ivan. <laughs> the match of the century. <laughs> We've got Ivan, right? Who has been a, a very solid, solid uh, talent in EU for a while now. Yep. Versus Ivan, mm -hmm. who I don't think a lot of people have heard of yet. No, I haven't. It's a complete Not unknown player coming. Another in. Spanish player, right? Another Spanish player. Yep. yep. This is the Ivan with an A. The other Ivan has no uh, second vowel. <laughs> So it's going to be Ivan versus Ivan, and I want to see Ivan come out on top. I'm sure they will. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat Ivan, but, but I, I think, think Ivan, Ivan can, can do, do it. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Flitz, give us your I'm thoughts do, on exciting I'm a, matchup. I'm going to do two. I'm going to do one in sure. the U and one in the A. The okay, first okay. one I'm going to say is I'm going to go Jobless versus Oxygen. Okay. I think, I think Nass is such a good player. I'm oh, yeah. really happy to see him on a roster for this. And Oxygen's obviously probably the best team, I'd say, in Europe in this league. Um, so I think that one, for me, is... I just think that's going to be like a, you know, almost a bloodbath. I think there's going to be goals and goals and goals. I think it's going to be good, right? Yeah. And then the second one is a little biased, but I want to play Poab again. Because for those who don't know, Poab reverse swept us in Regional 2, and we didn't make the Regional because of it. 
and I want my revenge, man. I want to get back. <laughs> I want to beat him twice. I'm going 2-0 against Moist. You heard it here first. I love it. I, I love I, it. I, I, want, I, want my, I want my revenge, man. There we go. Revenge. Flitz revenge tour throughout Shift uh, <laughs> Summer League. Um, mine is Oxygen versus Luna Galaxy Complexity. Oh, of course it is. Of course. I mean, look, I've got to say Oxygen. How am I not? How, how is that not the team that I'm most excited to watch, obviously? Yeah. Uh, but then Luna Galaxy Complexity, I think, is going to be a fun one. I'm, I mean, I'm excited to see that team play anybody. Um, you know, pulling a Chronic out for whatever reason, I don't know if he's unavailable or whatever, is uh, an interesting so, yeah. choice. I think he is a, a phenomenal talent. But they've got CRR, who is uh, another phenomenal talent. So I think he's going to slot in well. I think he and Atomic have uh, plenty of experience playing together. Maybe not uh, on teams, but I know they've run some twos, played some uh, some some tournaments, some smaller tournaments together. So uh, I'm excited to see those guys play. Next up, we've got, um, we want to select a player that we think their stock has risen the most um, throughout this qualifier and play in. Who do we think has kind of proven themselves or maybe started to make a name for themselves amongst the community? I mean, is there any other answer? I mean, it's talk. It's talk. You know, I mean, I, I was going to go talk as well. I had a, I had a second <laughs> one just, I had a second one prepared, but I mean, if we're all going talk. I'm, Who, you know, who's your other one? It is well, I was, was going to say, I think a lot of people kind of just forgot that one of Mike's a good player. Yeah. Like, oh, it's I a little biased. He's my I did. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to say I, I did. I, I forgot he was a good player. Like, like, no disrespect. It's just like a lot of people just kind of forgot because he also did, he did take a break for a little bit. Yeah. But a lot of people forgot how good he is. And I think he's going to, even if we don't do great, I think one of Mike's going to have, uh, a, a good league play and he's going to show people why he's still yeah. a top level player in rocket league but i do think talk is a little bit more than wanda sure. no dis to, no dis to wanda I, right. I think talk's just like such a safe pick but he he is the right answer here well i mean when you look at the framing of the question talk stock was essentially non-existent yeah, yeah. i mean from the Very community true. perspective right mainstream mm -hmm. viewers we probably aren't a no you know we didn't know much about him mm -hmm. and i saw this great twitch chat the other day but now he's the talk of the town yeah. Wow. Wow. That's, <laughs> you really did it. Huh? You really Come did. on. <laughs> no, I, I think as well, I mean, I, it might be because he's Nova Scotian, but getting the JNAPs vouched and getting right. a JNAPs tweet in general, oh, yeah, that dude never yeah. tweets. Yeah. You, you have to yeah. do something special to get that. I don't know. Yeah, that's fair. So. Yep. So Tom yeah, is definitely, already... uh, definitely one of those players that um, yeah. is, is on the up and up, if you will. Now, this is uh, a question that you may have. I don't, you, Flitz, you may not have the list on the top of your head here, but we've mm -hmm. got um, shift next up player list. And so we've got plenty of next up candidates in uh, shift summer league. And so we're going to select who our player that we are most excited to watch. I mean, yeah, we can, we can name the list of the, of the next up players in the shift summer league. Is That's this Tecos. That right. is Rizfox. That is Talk. And. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry. Matzer? Matzer? Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Mitzer, French, French guy. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll just keep it rolling. I'm, I'm going talk. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just really excited to see it because I haven't seen much of, I haven't seen much of him. And, and to, to the point that Flitz just made, if Jane has, if Jane has just tweeting about it and giving him the stamp of approval, I, I am interested. I am intrigued. Yeah. I want to see what does he bring to the table. Um, he's, he's got a couple of good teammates there with T Corel and, and Nitrous. Um, but I think at the same time, like those are, those are guys that never really pushed past a top 10, top eight area. Yeah. And so if, you know, if they add talk to the equation and now they're consistently competing with top eight, that indicates to me that he's the real deal. So I'm excited to see how they hold up here in the shift. Yeah. League. Nitrous is now called Sander, right? Yeah, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want to go talk again do you want to go talk again i'm i got i got a different pick actually okay i'm going, I'm going different okay yeah. okay well i i i didn't know what to choose i didn't know whether to go for the belgian or for, or for the french guy but they're both francophone they both speak french mm -hmm. Enough. it's rice fox and matzer and they're playing on the same team okay. so that so and and they're the only francophone representatives in eu so they're gonna have to do it they're gonna have to show it now mm. this is their chance to actually prove you know that there is more to France than the upper echelon of European <laughs> Rock League. I mean, we haven't seen that much new talent from France That's recently. True. I mean, th these two players are, are very good examples of it, but they're kind of the only ones at the moment. Um, whereas in NA, it's just been exploding all over the place with, you know, 15, 16 year olds coming up on, on new teams. There's so many teams that I wouldn't even call them bubble teams anymore. They're proper RLCS yeah. teams now. Yeah. 
So I want to see the next generation of Francophone talent stepping up. So I'm going to go Matzer. I guys, folks, I think we've already seen a little bit more of in the in the past RCS season. Um, of course, he might not have had the teammates to really do it, but um, yeah. yeah, I'm excited still for those guys. Look, now, hear, now hear me out, right? Okay. I would have gone talk. I would have. Okay. But I'm playing him, right? I'm playing yeah. him twice, and I'm also going to be playing while he's playing, so I'm not really going to be able to watch him. You know yeah. what I mean? But I've been a Tech House fan for a while. I, okay. I like Tech House. I like his game. He had some good moments in RLCS. Mm-hmm. He, made the, he made the shift summer league. I'm pretty excited to see what he can do, man. Uh, I, I, mm-hmm. I first met him. I played a tournament where it was uh, – I played with a Mexican player. I played with a European player, and I was an NA player. It was hosted by a bunch of, like, Hispanic creators. And that was the first time I played with Tech House. And I was very impressed with how good he was on NA Ping. And then he continued to impress me as he did things in RLCS. He was getting upsets. And I've just been a fan of his for a while. So I'm excited to see what he can do in the summer league. He is. He reminds me of you, you know? Does he? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can you, see that a little bit. You like, both just come out with these crazy shots once in a while. And then <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> all over Twitter again. Uh, yeah, fair, fair enough. I, 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 can, I can get behind that. But I'm a Tech House fan, so I'm excited. Well, to he, see he was the KC killer, the KC Slayer yeah, this season. So, so that's quite the, um, quite the accomplishment. All right, final question. We're going to let Flitz get up out of here. Which teams in each region do you think will finish first overall in league play? I'm going Oxygen and G2. Okay. Uh, for me, I, you know, G2 is just, you kind of have to go G2, right? Yeah, they're, you kind of best. To. They're one of the best teams, if not in the world, uh, but definitely the best in the night. So I'm going to go G2. And then for EU, I'm going with my boy Nass. Let's go Jobless, man. Okay. I, I'm, just, I'm a Nass fan. Ooh. I'm a Nass fan, dude. I do have Oxygen as well. Okay. But nice. I'm going to predict the upsets in NA, and I'm going to say Gen G okay. are taking this one because okay. i feel like g2 have won too much you know i, I agree, <laughs> they, I agree. they've won too much no no, no I, but seriously I think there might be... and then they keep winning so yeah it's true, now, it's hold true. On. but there might be something to it you know where they've mm-hmm. kind of lost their edge they've they've won it now and they're treating this as a like a nice summer summer league which it is fair enough to them but maybe gen g can get them back here okay after all the french dominance and european dominance over years G2 gets one major win, and Yin says that's too much. <laughs> that's how it is. <laughs> Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Come on. No, hey, on a real note, super excited for Shift Summer League. Um, it's going to be so much fun. I think like we talked about earlier, I think it will be the, – the, the eSport has grown tremendously since the open era began. Yeah. There are so many people that are, uh, you know, eSports fan, Rocket League eSports fans that have never seen League play. And so to get a little taste of it here – through Shift Summer League to have these matches determined beforehand. You already know. And, and you know, the way that this works is, look, when we get halfway through our matches, there's going to be implications. Like, you're going to know if incorrect upsets Space Station here, Space Station's going to be knocked out of playoffs. They're not going to be able to do it, right? So there's going to mm-hmm. be implications as we get closer to the end of the season. It's going to be fun to watch. You guys make sure you stay tuned in. Follow the Shift Arley Twitch channel if you're watching live right now. If you catch this on YouTube, Head over to Twitch. Again, Shift RLE is what you're looking for. Flitz, thank you so much for joining us. The floor is yours. If you want to do any shout-outs for anyone, plug any socials, anything like that. I'll keep it I'll keep it real quick for you guys, all right? Check out my Twitter, same ad as my below. Check out my YouTube, all that good stuff. But most importantly, check out the Shift Summer League. Go support Incorrect. We're facing off against OG. I don't know which of our games is on stream, but we'll be on stream tomorrow. But we're facing off against OG. Be there to support us. Thank you guys for having me, and uh, take care. Legend. Thank you. Thank you for watching this segment of the Shiftcast. Again, you can catch the full episode here on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Thank you for watching.